you can see, that's gas on the floor. And if you look up here, I don't know if you can see it. Can you see it? So that's the, that's the gas leak. We're gonna pinch this line off so it stops leaking. Yeah, I saw that and I'm like, that's aluminum. All right, we're gonna go in here with this and let me oh, 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 Look at that. Well, we're getting a lot of gas now. <laughs> that was supposed to pinch it off. And it wasn't supposed to do that. But all that rust just freaking, it just collapsed. That was crazy. Well, we bled the pressure out. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. I, thought, I was like, dude, this should be perfect. It was less than perfect. It was Okay, we're getting there. We're getting there, slow but surely. Ah, they are so rusted up back here in the back. <laughs> yeah, those are the tools. Those are for Ford. Right, let's see what does this do. There's a couple of ears right there that are hooked right. Okay, I'm gonna cut this all away. So now I just gotta figure out. There we go. Oh. Uh oh. Well, let's don't siphon all out. Now we got more gas on the floor. I'm gonna get a snippers and just start taking some of this out. Well, that didn't break. But we can definitely bend it out of the way. Oh, yep, now it's broke. Hey! Fuel in the fuel lines. Just so you guys know, you will have fuel in the fuel lines. I'm just gonna look at this now and figure out I think we, yeah, okay. So I think we squeeze these together and it. Picks that up so it's not caught on that tab. Okay, so I see, I probably, if I, I have to push forward and then maybe if I push this, see that blue. Oh, what's happening here? Oh, oh, look at that. all I had to do and then now I just have to get those off of there so I think did you guys see that that was crazy all I did was squeeze that and bloop came right out right there that's cool now I'm gonna slowly get this off without breaking it let's watch that process I think what I'm gonna do is just go in here just kind of bring it up a little There we go, we got her off. Okay, and it's intact and it's in good shape, so we're good to use that for the next one. Perfect. You can see up there's the fuel line. Comes into this clamp. And the fuel line goes right there into that clamp, so we'll have to get him out of there too. And then we're gonna have to feed it all up in there. So we'll bring the subframe down. We'll just put a lift here. Bring this down, then it will open us up to inside. And what is, how does this guy work? There we go. Just like that. Nice. You see that rust just builds up on there. And it looks like it's gonna be the same for all of them. So I'm gonna get the Engine, or I'm sorry, not the engine, the tranny lift. And we're gonna go right up on here, we're gonna put some blocks, and we're gonna bring this down. And then we'll take these guys out, drop this down. Oh, first I should probably go up into the engine bay, 
and I should probably disconnect the lines there. And they convert, ah, they convert pretty quickly to the flexible tubing. I'm gonna lower this for right now, and I'll get a ladder to go up to the engine bay to take a look at stuff. All right, we're gonna get there soon. We're gonna use our fuel line removal tools. And this looks like about three eighths line. Goes on like that, yep. All right, let's see how we do here. Look at in that something. And you have the right tool. Things really work out nice. We'll drain that down there. Okay. So really, I can, I can get down here and I can loosen that one to get the clip off. And I don't think this will be so bad. But I'm not gonna work off of the ladder. Um, I'm probably going to obviously lower it, do the work up here that I can reach, and then decide whether I'm gonna drop the subframe or not. So far so good, but eh, don't jinx it. I had these sockets out because when we pulled this car out of the ditch, um, we thought we had a flat tire and that's why they went in the ditch. But in all actuality, the roads were really icy and they spun into the ditch that way. Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Why? Why would you want to have one that's being very stubborn? Boy, that's gonna break. That's gonna break. This this will break things off. Oh boy. We're going up with some spray. This is kind of hard. We'll just work that back and forth. Coming. Whew. We got her. We got her. Oof, that, look, my glasses are all fogged up. That's how nervous I was. But we got it. That was scary. We'll get this guy out of there too. And we'll we'll get that all cleaned up. And then we'll we'll get her back in there. That's that's I'm glad that doesn't break. So let's bring this down slowly. I think that's all I want to do. Oh yeah. So that just opens up. Oh, that just opens up God's room. I just gotta get on a ladder and kind of weasel them down in through there. The big thing is making sure I get them right when I go back up. Cause it's kind of in between a fuel line or a brake line. This is where they gotta go. So watch, watch how that is. Did you see that? You've gotta go on the other side of that. So they, they gotta go on the other side of that and then you can Kind of get them. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. That goes between those brake lines. I gotta remember that. Can you see where this one is? In between that brake lines, like that? That's where that guy needs to go when he goes back up. So I said just get the new one and just put it in there so I remember. Look at how long these are. What kind of 
I got her. Look at that. That's really long. I'm gonna put this guy back where he was in between there. Okay. That one's pretty close to where it belongs. Oh, shit. Ha! I must have banged into you. But we're pretty close to where that one needs to be. So this has got to go up higher. So I just got to go and help it up there. All right, we're we're just about there. Yeah, then they'll both be okay. So you have to make sure that you put everything in the right spot, and it goes pretty good. We got her. I'm gonna head up to the top, get start getting clips done correctly, and um, work my way down. There's only one clip up there that I need to. All right, keep. we're gonna get set to run these bolts back up in. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna put plenty of never sees all over it. I'm not gonna be stingy today. Then this is the one I cleaned up, so I got all that out of there. I just slather him good. I just make sure that nothing's bound up or pinched. All right, no brake lines, all clear. Everything is clear, good. Let's verify that. Yep. Yep. Those are probably with this gun. Them are probably at 120 foot pounds of T O R Q U E torsion. Mm, I could get rid of this. That's tough. That's. Gotta really pay attention on this job. All right, I'll come back once I get in there and get that done. All I'm doing is trying to get this guy in place. And I'll get it. I'm not gonna give up. All right, getting her down to here. So got that. We'll get another piece in here. All right, well we're getting there. I've hooked up the fuel lines, they're, they're connected. I just gotta put these guys in. I still have my glasses on. That's plenty tight. Okay. And now for the final. Now this is actually the one that it was rusted under. It was rusted under that one. So this is just sitting here like so to keep, uh, because this, this one, it curves up. So as you can see here, this one doesn't go into here. It has this piece. No, we could, it was actually right here, and then it rusted it up enough, but it holds it steady. So we're connected up here, we're good. And we're connected here, everything's good. Brake lines are all in. If we look down the pipe, everything's all back up and seated correctly. So we will be done for today. I think it's like 7.30, it only took a couple of hours. I had a little bit of trouble up front because I, um, my routing, I didn't pay 100% attention to my routing. So once I started, once you start seeing where it goes, then it's good, right? So this one was up here, but it didn't have anything. So it's just kind of keeping these together. Then we got this guy, this guy. We have the one right here. We put the one up there above the wheel well. And then the one that's right by the brake booster, I'll close that one when I bring it down. Then I can kind of lean in easier. So that's going to be it for today. Tomorrow, I'll come back and then I'll finish that up. Then I'll uh, get the pump. I'll charge up the system. I'll start the car, make sure it starts, and then verify it's leak free. But that's going to be tomorrow. All right? Until tomorrow. That's not going bad. All right. <laughs> I love it. Look at that. I'm going to scrub up. 
Nice warm water. I love that part too. It's a little bit splashy, right? I think it's just we're shorter. It's a little bit splashy. It's going down the drain. Right, that's pretty awesome. That worked out good. Nice. All right, we're gonna test the fuel system for leaks. So I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna to turn to pre-ignition a couple times to get the fuel pump to charge the line, bring it up to pressure. Then I'll verify no leaks down here. I'll verify there's no leaks up in the engine bay where we hooked up the, um, the fuel line to the fuel rails and then the return line. If there's no leaks there, then we'll quick do a start of the car, make sure the car runs properly. And then we'll head over and we'll do that transmission cooler line. So let's get you set to look right up here. That's going to be, these will be the lines coming from the system. So this is the pressure line. And that, uh, I forget which, oh no, that's the pressure line. Okay. Now I'm not sure if you could hear, but the fuel pump ran. I got nothing here. No leaks, no leaks, that's perfect. I'm just gonna go check in the engine bay. And now I'm just gonna quick turn over the car. Uh, if she wiggles off of the lift, you guys are gonna get crushed. And my, and my more. It won't fall. Everything started and ran fine, but we're good. Fuel lines are good, all set. I'm gonna bring it down, I'm gonna do that last clip, and then I'm gonna get the return, or the training cooler line, changed out. Huh. Well, we're moving right along.